Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and overview of the Thermalright Shaman 8 Heat Pipe GPU Cooler. Now, this is sort of a universal cooler as it fits many models. And uh, let's open this up here. And uh, basically, one thing about Thermalright is they don't spend very much money on their packaging, as you can tell. All their stuff has this plain brown box. And basically all the money that you're spending on the product is going into the product itself. So that's always a good thing. Uh, open this up here. Some foam for protection. First off we have our assembly package list here. It basically tells everything that comes inside. We got our mounting hardware. Some memory coolers, VRM coolers, MOSFET coolers, stuff like that some thermal paste some uh, strips for uh, silencing the fans clips for mounting the fans, thermal paste moving on here here's our uh, mounting guide instruction list basically uh, show you shows you guys how to mount this onto your video card of choice and this main unit here will cool your GPU and then they have some small heat sinks here that you can see you can put around the RAM modules and such depending on what kind of card you have Let's move on here then there's our Thermalrite case badge this is one of their 140 millimeter 1300 RPM 4 pin PWM case fans. These things are amazing. Not only are they quiet, but they do push a lot of air. Being that they're 140 millimeters, uh, they can push more air while being quieter than your standard 120 millimeter. Another thing to note about this is it has very nice sleeving. Uh, the color scheme on it is very nice. I will say it's uh, a lot better than the other brandings out there. I'm not going to mention any names. Uh, and the this fan actually will fit a 120 millimeter uh, fan hole or fan clips. Moving on. This is your box that has all your accessories for mounting the VGA cooler to your video card. So it's up here. One thing to note too is Thermal Right is a very good mounting system. Okay, here's the contents package here. So it comes inside the uh, accessory bag. You have your fan clips. You have all of your assorted uh, aluminum heat sinks. They appear to be aluminum. And you have four of the small flat ones. You have five of the medium sized taller ones and then you have six of the long taller ones and then uh, here's your mounting hardware to mount to all your different types of NVIDIA and ATI GPUs thermal paste they include four anti-vibration strips here open this up here and here is the beast of a cooler itself. So it has eight heat pipes, it's got copper base, these are six millimeter heat pipes, and this thing is completely nickel plated. If I can get it out of here. Here we go. This thing is beautiful. Amazing. You can mount your 140 millimeter fan, just like this. The included fan clips and the uh, little rubber isolator strips that go underneath there. Now you can run this passive if you don't want to run a fan. If you have a lower end video card or uh, you have really good case cooling, you can run this without the fan. The fan isn't mandatory, but it's suggested. And uh, let's give you guys one more look here. Just love the way they arrange these heat pipes. That's some craftsmanship right there. 
fitting all these heat pipes there. And here's your base. Very nice and flat. See mirror finish. Lots of surface area. And not only is this going to cool your GPU, but as you can see, uh, this fan's going to be blowing through these fins, and that's also going to be blowing air on your video card. So you're going to cool all the components around on your video card as well with the included uh, heat sinks that they have here. So that should be plenty to cover all the video cards that they uh, include here that this will mount to. Get your fan clips, thermal paste, this uh, Chill Factor 3 thermal paste is amazing stuff. I really like it. I almost like it more than my Arctic Silver that I've been using for years. So that about wraps it up, guys. Uh, if you're interested to see more about this, I will be doing a more in-depth review and temperature test.